So we just got down here onto the foreshore and straight away I've got some finds. I've got a copper nail and a glass button, but I see something there and I swear it's a pipe bowl. Put those down, but it's the weirdest. Pipe. No, wait, it's not a pipe bowl. It looks like a pipe, like a weird shaped pipe bowl, but it's not. It's a leg. Look, that's the heel and the toe is missing. It's a doll's leg that's just absolutely knackered. But I've also spot another toy related item there. Can you see it? Can you spot the find? It's right in the middle. It's here, look. It's just been washed out of the bank. Oh, look, the gun is still attached. It's a little toy soldier and it's still got the paint on as well. Isn't that cool? That's an original 1800s lead tin alloy soldier. Its feet are missing, obviously, but the rest of it's in pretty good condition. It's really crisp. A little moustache. Well, I think then, I don't think I'm going to take this leg. <laughs> I think it's a bit knackered. But these are pretty good first finds, I think. I love that little man. Oh, wait. We're not done yet. We've got a tiny little stubble bobber there, look. Oh, that's knackered as well. I'll keep it anyway, because I can make jewelry out of this end bit. Oh, wait, no, that's broken as well. Okay, I might just leave it here then. All right, so down here, I have also found something toy related, I think. It's it's a pet. Well, it's not a pet. It's a lead antler, <laughs> deer antler of a toy deer. And the other things that I found already are a nail, the end of a spoon and a pipe bowl. So let's go and see what else we can find. Hello. Hello. Okay, so today we are in the deep dark woods. We are, the spooky <laughs> woods. Look at this. It's really ominous and creepy today. It, it really is. is. Real atmosphere. It's a bit spooky. It is, really spooky. Maybe we'll find some spooky themed finds. I don't know. Who knows? Not too spooky, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Looks like it's just freshly been eroded. You see that there? Tiny little pink seed bead. Oh no, where is it gone? Oh, it's back. There you go. Okay, so last time we were here, I was crawling under this same dark hole in the bank. And I think I've actually spotted something else, but it's like way back. It's a way back, so I'm going to have to do like a little eye oh, crawl. Oh, there goes my bag. Right underneath. <laughs> there. Oh, it's just plain. It's a pipe ball. Look. But it's just completely plain. Let's have a look around, see if there's anything else here. I don't think there is. And I'm actually getting a bit soggy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an exit now. <laughs> oh. Okay, so down here is a rather juicy looking bead. Oh, it's one of my favourite kinds, the big blue juicy bead. Hand wound one, I think. It's not a moulded glass. So that will be over 100 years old. That's beautiful. Look at the size of it. Lovely. This is another fresh find. Washed straight out the bank. Can you tell what it is? It's pretty crusty. It's in a bad way. It's an arm, it's a little doll's arm. Just looking under here. I don't think I could spot anything. And then, what's that behind the bramble? Cheeky cod marble. If there's nothing else, there's always a pipe hole or a cod marble always 
don't know if there's anything else under there. I'm going to have to get a bit closer. Just, let's just have a look. Oh, all the roots are falling out. Uh, I don't think so. You never know. It's worth checking. There might be... Oh, wait, actually. What's that? Sorry, I'm tangling the roots. Uh, there. That's a strange looking bit of lead. Is it anything? Let's bring it into the light. See that? Oh. Um, can you tell what that is? That is an extremely mangled soldier. It's quite disturbing, actually. It looks like a mutilated body. I don't know what he's holding. It's all mangled. Isn't that weird? How did it get that bad? <laughs> okay, so these flowers are really pretty. But I was like, has a dog done something around here? <laughs> it turns out it's these flowers that stink. I can see some bottles down here, but I don't know if there'll be anything, but I will have a look. This is just your uh, regular um, burst lip little bottle medicine bottle. Um, another one I can see here. I don't know if it's broken or not. Oh, what's that? Nothing. So I'll just I'll see if I can prize this out. I hope it's got something interesting on it. Oh, it's kind of a bluey colour. I don't think it has any any marks on it whatsoever. But I might give it a rinse, see if it's a nice colour or not. So there's two little bottles there. A little bit of chain there with a ring on it. I wonder what that was. Mum was right. It smells like poo. There's loads of it here, look. It's really pretty. Um, and we weren't sure what it's called, um, but I looked it up and I think it's common tansy. Um, and it really does smell. And I think you can use it for medicinal purposes. But the flowers really smell. Oh no. It looks like some legs and a bottom with no top half. Mm, what a shame. There's a lovely piece of spongeware here. Look at that. That's a lovely example. I'm definitely taking that. I actually found a little metal patch. Look, I found this little hook. Can you recognize it because they've used this type of fastener for like hundreds of years and they still use, we still use little fasteners like that. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, some things don't change. And this, which I think is the mouth of a whistle, would have been like a novelty whistle of some kind, but it's broken and squashed. Oh, that's a shame. Never found a complete one, actually. We've got a few, but they, none of them work. And of course, can you spot that there? It's another cod marble. Another piece of spongeware. Another pretty example for my collection. And it's a glass bottle stop. We have a massive collection of these. Yeah, there's a broken limb. What a shame. But I found a um, teensy weed and there is a hawk uh, behind me. It's flying above the trees. That just won't be quiet. Got a lot to say. And it's the obligatory cod marble.
Ooh, and what's this down here? I'm gonna zoom in. Can you see it? Look at this. It's a little doll's arm. A little penny doll's arm. The kind with swinging arms. It would have had a solid body and a wire that went through the body. So the arms would swing. Well, that's cool. Yet another dainty bead. I'm just like the queen of tiny beads. Just like, yeah, all the, all the beads I found are just tiny. I found this drip. It's a perfect drip of glass. It probably was glass that melted when the tip was burnt. But if you hold it to the light, I don't know if you can see very well. I don't know, you probably can't. I'll zoom in a little bit. You see that? The end of it is purple. It's a piece of really dark purple glass. A drip. I'd love to try and make some sort of jewellery with that because that's just... It's a lovely little thing. I'll definitely keep that. For sure. I'll show you the foreshore. Um, it's absolutely covered in pottery. There is always tons and tons of pottery here. Broken sheds of all kinds. And that's what takes the practice. Sifting with your eyes through the rubbish to find the treasures. Well, it's all rubbish really, but you know what I mean. Just found this tiny little tooth. Well, the root is really long. It's got a little tiny tooth on the end. Not sure what that's off. I don't know. Get the bottom tooth off something, maybe. And hiding down here is a pipe bowl. And it has a heart on it. It's quite a nice one, I'm going to keep it. Oh, I see a fossil over there actually. Oh, let's go and have a look at the fossil. Oh my goodness. There, yeah, look at that. Piece of fossil. Some kind of wood. from a long time ago. <laughs> Do you think it's whole? It is, but it's plain. <laughs> ah, look. So, you've got to keep your eye open, not just for the shapes of things, but the texture of things. And that is porcelain. And look. Oh, she hasn't got, she's just a head. That would have been a doll with um, like movable, movable arms, but they're fixed legs. But it's still cute. She'll go in our little collection. Little head collection. We've got like a whole shelf that's just dedicated to like figurine heads and doll heads. She's got a cute little face look. <laughs> so I found this lovely hundred odd year old glass jar and they're usually broken the glass ones and this is absolutely lovely the color of it it's a good size and it'll be absolutely perfect for using in the new craft room project that we're working on on our new channel and if you haven't seen that channel yet you should head on over and watch us building our new craft room and that's the lost tower diaries and there's a link below and there's a link on our homepage. so yeah go and check it out and this will be perfect 
for our new room for putting things in. Ah, a lead thing. It's weird. Oh, it's like a little wheel. I have no idea. Some sort of like tin toy. I don't know. What else is here? It's caught on this clay. Hmm. I'll have a look over here. What did I say? The queen of the tiniest beads. And that one is... Good job I've got some nails today. My nails are getting quite long. I could scoop up that little bead. where is it gone there that is honestly the tiniest bead ever look at that that's ridiculous so I have just found a bigger bead but it's literally a melted blob of nothing only tiny beads for today guys apparently oh look I was really hoping to find one of these today can you see what it is can you spot it? We'll just leave it for a second. Can you see it? You can see it, can't you? It's right there. I think you might be able to see what it is now. Oh, look, it's a wonderful little button. A little French jet button. I'll give it a bit of a wash because the river just so happened to be behind me. Another pretty design I'm sure we don't have in our collection. We never do find the two the same. Isn't it pretty? It's quite sparkly. Oh, and behind me, I've just spot another bead that is actually broken. I'm just not going to find a bead bigger than a seed bead today. And I don't know if you can hear the hawk behind. I'm thinking that um, either it's angry at us because we're close to its nest or that it's a young one it's calling out for its parents which might be the case well move on it's by a little button these buttons are usually corroded all the way through so if you press that too hard it'll probably crumble away I will take it home, and if it survives the journey, I'll try and clean it. What's that? A little button or something? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. A white button, ceramic button. Okay, so we've actually walked up into the woods again, and I've already got like a handful of finds, and I found a pipe bowl here as well. It has a heart on it. It's a heart pipe. Um, and it is a little bit overgrown in here, um, but we've had loads of rain recently, so there may have been some little bits and bobs that have washed out, so wish us luck. Hopefully we'll find something. These are my finds. Not sure if I'll take this little bottle. It's got something in it. Oh, and also the button that I picked up is stuck in there. There we go, look, a little button, a cod marble, that pipe bowl I just showed you, and there was another tiny button, oh yeah, there, look, the tiniest mother of pearl button, so delicate, must mean for undergarments. Oh, I found something down here, it's a limb, it's a leg, look at that. My first complete lip. No, actually, before I found it, crusty arm, didn't I? But it's got a nice little black boot on it, look. I like that. Mum says she's got a pipe bowl over here. Has it got anything on it? I don't know. Let's oh. See. What's it? No, it doesn't. It's a plain one. It's got a rim around the top. Yeah, it though. does. It's kind of milled on the edge, isn't it? Yeah. I've also got um, a whole teapot lid which I use for lids for jars. 
Yeah, they're really and, uh, handy. Tiny clay marble. Oh, that's nice. There you go. I've actually got a pencil, oh. the end of a pencil, mm -hmm. which I collect. Fantastic. All right, so down here I have found a button. It's quite a small metal button. And what have you found, Alex? I found what appears to be half a domino. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> two on it and look there's something here that I noticed what is it I don't know oh look it's like brassy there and then I don't know what this end is made of oh that's potentially interesting yeah, might I'm, clean I up I don't know what that is but I don't know is it like a little bottle a mystery I have to clean it Shell. I think that's a shell anyway. Oh yeah, look. I don't know what kind of shell it is, but it's definitely not a British species. So maybe someone has collected this from a holiday. And for some reason, it's ended up here on the tip. This looks like a knife handle. A bone knife handle. It's a bit dark in these woods. Looks like it's got something uh, written on it. Oh, it has, look, like initials. That's an M or a W. Fancy that. Someone put their initials on their knife. How personal. I'm going to keep it. I wondered what this was. Because it's a bit of an unusual shape, isn't it? But I think it's a toy cannon. It'll go like that. And like twist. Like that. Well, tilt. Like that. Yeah. Isn't that cute? It's a bit far gone. I also found something I really enjoy finding, a bone button. I really like the bone buttons. And there's a little tiny ball down there. It's probably a little um, baking bean or something. But yeah, sometimes you just kind of get groups of finds in like one area. And then you'll find like nothing around here. And they'll just all be in one little area. That's why it pays to get down on the ground. It's a jar lid. Sure, something Shaw & Co. Cannington, Shaw & Co. Yeah, found these before. So I like it. Look, I found a cute little button, brass button. And this little ball, which is actually blue. It's a little clay ball, but why is it blue? Why would it be blue if it was a baking bean? Or maybe it could have been in like a tin of paint used to like agitate the paint. Or maybe it's a marble, but it's a bit misshapen and quite little, but I don't know. Oh look, I found a bead down here, but it's not a glass bead. It's actually a shell. Look, little holes in it. I don't know what kind of shell it is, but it's gorgeous. It's like, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up in the um, darkness of the woods, but yeah, look. It's a shell bead. I don't think we've found a bead like that yet. That's that's new to us. I love it. I think usually shells are really like quite corroded, quite destroyed by the acidity of the tip. But I found two today, which has been really nice. It's actually extremely 
spooky and ominous in these woods today. It's really still, really quiet. Yeah, there's a really strange atmosphere today. I'm not sure what it is. Might just be because it's cloudy and it's threatening to thunder. <laughs> While we're here, mudlarking in the dark, spooky, ominous woods. And that was a cockerel in the distance. <laughs> it's actually really quite dark. It's difficult to see if there's anything here. I don't think we've ever found a knife that has an initial on it before. It's like Scrimshaw, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Is it an M? Or is it a W? What do you think? I think it's... William, William. <laughs> or Margaret. Mm. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie. Our cat's called Maggie. Maggie Bosoms. Maggie McGee. Maggie McGee. That's a bottle stop, obviously. Got a bottle stop. Um, another little clay ball, but look at this. I don't know if anyone knows what this is. This is wood, like, that's wooden. I'm sure it is. And it's got this brass clip or something attached to it. I don't know what it is. It was obviously made and was part of something, but I really just can't really guess what it was, but yeah, and um, actually up here, I'll take these. I've just found the mouthpiece, like a Bakelite mouthpiece of a pipe, look. I'm not sure what to do with these. We've got several of them, but it's like, I'm not sure why, because what were what we gonna do with them? They're not really pretty looking, are they? Oh, wait, a bead, a bead today that is not a seed bead, it's actually a proper little pony bead. <laughs> Finally! So I think Alex just said she'd found a bead and look down here. It's a bead. Another bead. That's pretty. I like that. A bead from the deep dark woods. This is a phone down here that I found. It's a phone. Well, that's strange. Someone's old phone. Looks pretty old. It's a Nokia. Zoom in. It's a Nokia phone. I've no idea how old that is. Hmm. Strange. Someone's burner phone with secret messages on it. I wonder if the, uh, the card's still in. I doubt we'll be able to turn it on. <laughs> I think it's well and truly dead. How strange. 
There's a bottle here. There's not been many around, but looks like a sauce bottle, but we'll have a look at it, look, together. Oh yeah, essence of coffee and chicory. And I think it might have, oh no, it has shield doll. Shield all on it. Um, SCWS, that's the Cooperative Society. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I've not seen a bottle with that on it before, the Shield doll, but I've seen essence of coffee, coffee and chicory, that's quite common. I might look that up, but I'm not going to take it with me. Now, that looks suspiciously like the bowl of a spoon, doesn't it? Oh wow, look at that, it's the whole spoon. The entire spoon. It's like a little teaspoon. Not sure if there's anything on it, it's really muddy. Oh, I'll clean that up when we get back home. You never know, I might be as lucky as mum was with her little carved bone handle. Oh look, I'm, oh look at that. I'm really pleased and excited because there's some dentures. Oh look, they're just the front teeth. You found some teeth. Oh yes, <laughs> look. Your favorite thing. Oh my favorite thing, oh I'm so happy. Look, it's just the front teeth. <laughs> Look, um, there's like there's like a gap here for where the must other teeth. Had their front teeth missing. They must have got their front teeth knocked out Ew, somehow. Yeah. And they've had to have been replaced with dentures. That is so weird. I love it. <laughs> God, I love me some dentures. I think it's a find that's really quite well suited to the spooky ominous woods we're in today. <laughs> Maybe we should try and balance things out and find something quite pretty. I've already found something quite pretty. I quite like that, um, that little like bead that I found, but I'd like to find a dolly or something. Fingers crossed, I've still got all over here to have a look in yet. Suspicious ink bottle, is it whole? Yes. Wow, look at that. It's a ridged ink. And it's a lovely colour. Two consecutive bottles. Alex has found a little face sticking out of Let's bring you down the ground. Here. Is it a cat? Is it a bear? What is it? I don't know. It look, kind of looks like a little fox, it but it must it? be a dog. Fox or a dog? Yeah. Could be a dox or a fog. Or a dog. Fog. <laughs> Mum just threw me this entire, like, woolen sock at me. How weird is that? I don't know if it's a sock actually. I don't even know what it is. A hundred year old sock. Battery's just died, so yeah. I'm going to film her find for her. Uh, it's um, a bit sad because yeah. it's broken in half. That's the second pair of doll legs we oh, found no. today. I literally just said, let's find something pretty, like a little doll or something. Is uh, it a doll? I have. Or a bear? No, it's a doll no, with a bear it's, bottom. It's not <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a shame. Oh, it's we've a got shame. so many of those. I know. Can we 
we please, mudlarking gods, can we please find a whole one? We'd be grateful. Thank you. And goodbye. Someone was feeling artistic as they walked through the woods. It looks like a skittle or a bowling pin or a bottle made up of little bits of broken pottery. A nice thing to find in the woods. The colour of that bottle is so pretty. Look, it's just a little panel bottle, but the colour is just gorgeous. So handsome. Hopefully someone will come along and take it. A bit sponge wear there as well, but it looks like it's got shells on it. I've never seen that before. That's a new one. Sponge shells. Oh, so mum's got a find down here that looks really weird. Like, what is that? What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's got quite heavy. Yeah. It's like a bit of brass on the end of a stick. This might be bone. A bone. Ooh, oh, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, I know what it is. That's the, the thing off a parasol. Oh, right. It's like the handle of a parasol. Yeah. It's a parasol stem. A parasol stem. Oh. We keep finding bits of these, don't well, we? Well, we usually find the metal bit, not, not any of the rest of it. It's like the end, the end of a, a parasol look. I think it is bone. It might have fitted into something else, like... No, I think this is like the very tip of the parasol, you know, like the very end. Oh, the uh, top, yeah, like that. Yeah, the top, rather. Like an umbrella, yeah. yeah. That's cool. It's like the uh, spire on the top of the umbrella. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I was getting at, yeah. Oh, it's interesting, Yeah, though. it is. I think so. Not found one of those before. All right, so I was on my way back to the car, and there's a bottle here. I want to look at. Oh, look at that. It's so. I love that colour and it's so bubbly. Oh, wait, it's got some. Judson. London. Something to look up. Judson, Lon London. That is a lovely colour. Look how wrinkly it is. Rimply. I wonder what was in there. I have to find out. And also, I spotted. Well, Alex spotted this piece of beautiful sponge wear. We found some lovely bits of sponge wear today. So that's great. Two really good finds on the way back to the car. Alex has found a knob. A brass knob. <laughs> it might be a bit too far gone but it's funny because one of the latest videos I'm editing on our new channel we were talking about using some of the knobs um, that we found while mud marking to use on like a old set of drawers. That might be, I'm but not sure this, if it's going to be know. any good. It, could it's it quite be? big as well. It's more like a doorknob. Well, it'd be quirky, but I'll keep it anyway. And just in case it can be revived, it's a little bit. And our new channel is Alex. The Lost Tower Diaries. <laughs> we cannot get back to the car because we keep finding things. Down here, Alex has just spotted yeah. a tiny lid. A liney tid. We've got lots of these now. We were just looking at our collection the other day. Oh, yeah, we were. We'll have to show you. We've got, like, an extensive doll lid Let collection. us know if you would like to see all of our collections, because we could make a video about that. Yeah, we could. We've got um, so much. But we're not sure if people would like to see it. So let us know in the comments if that's something you would like to see, like, all of um, our collections en masse. Yeah, because we've got we've amassed quite a bit by now, haven't we?
And here are all the amazing finds that we found yes. in that deep dark wood. And I didn't realise how much we found until you like, lay them all out. Look how much is here. There's loads of stuff. There is a humongous amount of stuff. Um, firstly, I want to mention really quickly this teensy little bottle because I was accidentally not filming it. And yeah, so you and didn't... that's one of our favourite finds. Yeah, and so you only saw it kind of like briefly when I picked up another bottle, the um, ridged ink bottle. Um, but yeah, look at this ripply little tiny bottle, burst lip. It's perfect and amazing. And obviously, you know that we really love the tiniest bottles. Yeah, I love it. So yeah, I'll show that first of all. But obviously, we've got quite a lot here. Can't talk about everything, but we'd love to ask you what you'd like us to talk about, but of course we can't. No, so we'll, we can't. <laughs> we just have to guess. We've mentioned pipes lots of times, and we might be putting them in the shop. Yeah, all the old favourites here, but there are one or two really outstanding things, and I think one of them are Alex's teeth. <laughs> My teeth? Yeah, I really like these because. Well, they're just a bit morbid, you know. I can hear a lot of people going, ew. Yeah, you can hear them. Yeah, I can hear yeah. them. Um, you can see the actual mould of the roof at the mouth of this person, who, for some reason, was missing their front teeth. I wonder how they lost them. Yeah, four of them. Yeah. There would have been another one there. These wires were for holding them onto the back teeth. Yeah. And this bullseye sort of thing in the middle would have been probably where there was a gold plaque with the na maker's name on it um, because I found some very similar when I was younger than Alex yeah um, that still had the plaque on but obviously if it was gold they would have taken it off before they threw them away that's a shame it would be nice to find some I know. gold I know gold I dentures. found mine under a, an old railway platform as you do you the know. rabbit had dug them out <laughs> Oh, I really like the beads. Well, I always like beads, but this little um, pearlescent shell. Isn't it is gorgeous? Bead. It's got four holes, actually. I don't know if you yeah, can see it. Yeah, I wonder if it was part of a bracelet. You know how they had beads with four holes in and they yeah. were joined together? Yeah. Could have, it could have been, yeah, a necklace or a bracelet, but it's really pretty. I think there was a name for those sort of kind of iridescent shell necklaces if I remember rightly, but I can't remember. The other thing I find interesting, if this had been whole, it would have been great, but Alex has just pointed out. <laughs> it looks as if it's had a cesarean section there. It does, a little it's bit. A it's got a bit of a scar <laughs> on its belly, yeah. So another one of my favorite finds is this knife handle. It's just a plain old, seemingly butter knife handle made of bone, but it's got this initial. Yeah. It's either a W, or an M. Anyway, it gives it that little bit of um, personal feel, you know, someone owned that and used it a lot, put their name up. Maybe they worked in the mine and they didn't want, you know, at lunch break, anyone to get hold of their knife. Yeah. I don't know. Some sort of story behind it. And the other thing is, well, we've got some lovely array of bottles yeah. besides Alex's really nice little one there. This is my favorite found at the last minute on our way out and it says Judson on one side and London on the other and I've got a little bit of information about this and lovely colour there was a Daniel Judson and Son and they were at 77 um, Suffolk Street London and they were dry salters and merchants. Now a dry salter was a dealer in chemical products that were used in other local occupations especially for dyeing cloth but Judson's made their own dyes, inks and marking ink so any of those things could have been in this bottle. Um, and his son was called Henry who eventually took over the business when his father died in 1874 and in turn Henry's son Frederick also took over the business and took it into the 20th century. So yeah. So um, it's an ink bottle basically, a marking ink or an inky ink? Marking bottle. ink, ink or dye. Yeah. Dye, yeah. And the marking ink was called indestructible marking ink. Of course it would be. And I think this bottle <laughs> dates from the end of the 19th century. It's cute. It's, it is cute. I love a embossed burst lip. It's nicely always... embossed. It's got 
bubbles and imperfections and it's a pretty colour. It's a real like teal colour, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's really gorgeous. nice. It's really pretty. And of course all of these bottles are such pretty colours. Why we oh, we can't yeah. resist taking we can't them. Resist them. Okay, finally the last thing we're gonna talk about, because you know, obviously we've got so much here. You know, we could be talking about, but it's this. And we thought this was from a parasol and we looked them up and we think we're actually right. Yeah, it would have had a little um, metal finial on the end there, probably for when you're walking along. You could use it as a walking yeah. stick. Um, so yeah, the top of an umbrella or a parasol. Yeah, so this would have been the, above the canopy bit yeah. or whatever you call it. And it's wood, so it's amazing that it survived. Uh, you can actually see paint. Can yeah, you kind like of see like, pale like blue lead gray. white? Paint yeah. or would have probably been a silk parasol. Yeah, been some sort of fancy parasol. That's really cool because we we find these bits from brollies and stuff, but yeah. never with the wood attached. But anyway, yeah, we've got so many finds, and I know we say every single week, but we could honestly just ha have a conversation about everything. Oh yeah, but we've got to mention the spongeware because oh, we found an exceptional. Few examples here. Really week. pretty spongeware. Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. And uh, we had an idea of putting some of these. Got loads of these jar lids. Yeah, Don't know what to do what about to do them. them. Yeah. Put them in a path. That would be perfect. Set stuck them into in a path. A path yeah. So that's what we're going to do with all of our jar lids. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. What a wonderful selection of finds this week. Right. So from a very spooky, atmospheric woodland it's really been a, like a really spooky kind of it's atmospheric mittis. day today um it kind of feels like the calm before the storm I think. yeah it's been it really, really feels weird. like any minute there's going to be a huge crack of thunder or yeah something. it's really been quite ominous today anyway we have surprisingly found quite a lot and some th yeah. things we've never found before mm. and some things that we've been able to kind of research as well um which has been surprising because Right here, there's not been much activity during the summer and there's loads of like undergrowth growing up. So I think we've done really well. Yeah, I do. A plus, we were down on the foreshore earlier and we found some great things down there as yeah. well. So overall, it's been a pretty good day and we hope you've enjoyed it. So a great big thank to everyone who has liked the video. And of course, to everyone who leaves a comment down below, we do read and um, we do really enjoy reading your comments, although we don't have the time to reply to all of no. them. Um, but yeah, Anna, oh, and everyone who has subscribed, thank you for subscribing, because um, that really does help our channel It does, grow it's really and, important. And um, yeah. if you're not sure whether you're subscribed or not, please go and check, because we're still trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. So. And, and it's free and you know you'll be kept informed of new videos yeah. yeah we've got some exciting things planned for the future too but i think it's going to be a long a long, long slog <laughs> to 100k but we'll get there eventually we will but uh yeah and uh last thing is of course last but not least our amazing patrons on patreon who help to keep us going every month so thank you so much we really do appreciate it and it helps us enormously to keep going. It does, it does, it really does. So uh, we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.